Oh, I have a friend here today. I have my son here, and we are going to be making homemade pasta with your favorite sauce, mm -hmm. carbonara, and we're making the classic version. So welcome to Philly Philly. We are going to dive right in to actually getting the pasta put together because it does need to rest a little bit before we put it on our machine. So this is his first time. I have not done it in a hot minute, many minutes, because I was raising boys and I really didn't feel like I had time to make pasta. So I- Not even for us. I know, I know, because <laughs> I was running after them. So, um, so yeah, so I dug this out of the back top corner. Uh, we did move it into the city when we downsized because I always hoped I'd make pasta again. Yeah, and yeah. so, um, <laughs> So someone in the back needs to, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so, so it's actually, it's really, really simple. And honestly, the way I was taught, and I'll talk more about that story later, but how I was taught was to make, to initially get it done in a, a food processor. So, and this is my instructions from way back in the, I think it was the eighties for sure. And so this may not be the way you make pasta, but it makes a great pasta. This is how I always knew. So in any event, um, all we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding one and a half cups flour. We're setting aside a quarter cup of flour just because we want to make sure we have the right consistency. So, um, and so Matt, how excited am I about this? Oh, uh, the new container, you mean? Yes. I showed on um, this past week, the sugar one. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think why, but I was showing the sugar one and then here's the flour one. Oh, I remember you was using the flour one. I don't remember. No, I think it was sugar. I Regardless. So, um, so this is OXO. Again, I'm not getting paid by them. I'm just know is something that I like. Is it OXO or is it OXO? I never know. Well, I don't know. That's a really good question. If you know, put it, <laughs> put it down there. So, and you just push, it lifts up. And what's better yet is these measures can go in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're yeah, just Yeah, which gonna... I guess your old one couldn't. Since you couldn't. <laughs> no, I could put a quarter open, cup. Open, it's wide. I could put a quarter cup in. So it kind of mm -hmm. made it a little bit tricky trying to get stuff in. So, um, so basically, we are just going to loosely measure one and a half cups of flour and setting aside a quarter cup. So I'm just going to get that in. So one and a half cups. Also, what's up, DS? Hi, DS. Thank you for joining. So DS was telling me about a great falafel recipe, mm. which I cannot wait to make. I was telling my hubs about it, actually, DS, and it looked phenomenal what you made. So I'm really excited about that. Have you been hearing about the drama about Shelby and her bed, by the way? <laughs> so here we have one yes. cup. So we're just going to dump that in. Jeez. And do you want to measure the half cup? You want to do that? Glad. Gladly. Love it. Love the help. And I'm supposed to shove it all in there. Yeah, you're supposed to pack possible, it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we never pack flour. Flour you want to loosely put in, oh, which I'm is, already is totally, it's totally fine. Oh, God. <laughs> I won't, I won't invite I got him. It in the, I got it in the Pyrex. You got, you got it in the egg thing. No, it's fine. Damn. Well, he's measuring that half cup, because again, we're putting one and a half cups into our food processor. I'm going to crack the eggs. So for our recipe, it involves one and a third, one and three quarter cup flour, but it's separated. You, you separate a quarter cup of it for later if you need it. Um, you can just put that over there. Three large eggs and a teaspoon of salt. So we got the flour. I'm going to actually... I'm gonna actually, you know what I'm gonna do? What? I mean, let's just what get, are you actually gonna do? <laughs> this is what we're actually gonna do. I'm gonna actually do this. I'm just gonna get a, a quarter cup there just in case we need it. And we, we apparently add it like a tablespoon at a time. If we do need. I like to cook? I do. I'm not quite as versed as she is, but. That's great though. Um, I, I refuse to just like get food delivery every day. Uh, I like you to. You enjoy it, I think. Yeah, no, it's cooking. fun. It's, yeah. I think it's, uh, besides being the dishes, um, I think it's a good distressor, but the dishes ends up being a stressor, so it kind of neutralizes that. Yeah, so you were um, mentioning that on the last stream about how yeah. um, Hubs does my dishes and you don't have a I, spouse. When, when, I, when I find a spouse, I need somebody that's going to be able to do the <laughs> you dishes. Can say, I, will, I'll cook. I will gladly cook, yep. but I don't want to have to do the dishes. So we are going to put three eggs in, and we're going to save these eggs for the carbonara. So do you want to put that back over by the air fryer? And do you want to crack the eggs, or do you want me to crack the eggs? Oh, I can Sure, I'll yeah. give it a shot. Yeah, it's always good. To, he he gets a, you get a little bit like anxious well, about the eggs, but you do great. Because like some sometimes Never there's there. there's eggs where so the flour's okay in there. Oh yeah, because it's okay. all going in the same place. Yeah. Um, sometimes I feel like you get like those eggshells where they're harder to tear apart for seemingly no reason. Um, so let's hope they're not. Oh boy. 
It's fine. Remember, we're not, we don't need things to stay intact. Yeah. We just want to not have shell in there. Or can I toss these? Oh. Hey, can you open that? Yeah. Oh! You have a rogue, That's rogue egg good. shell. That's good. It makes it exciting here. And then I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt in there to help flavor. Excellent. I'll get a teaspoon of salt. I use kosher salt. Make sure it's right. Good. Nice. All right. So we have one and a half cup flour. We're setting aside. By the way, all this is below in the description. I have links for everything or the actual description spelled out. A quarter cup set aside to see if we need it. We put the teaspoon of salt. We're putting our three eggs. And then we are going to zip this up in the food processor. So let me get the lid. Food processors are great tools, but the thing that always stresses me out is getting the, getting the lid on, actually. That can be that can be like, there we go. No. Nope. The, the lid can be the toughest thing, to be honest. Yes, really. my favorite thing to cook is probably... Seriously. Hmm. It's, I think it's either I, I've been really into making uh, these uh, Korean beef rice bowls. Um, they're a lot of fun to make. Um, but That's also, kind of your what? That's kind of your specialty. Well, that and uh, one of the things that was popular among the people I lived with up at college for making was an aglio e olio. Um, so I enjoy making that as well. Um, okay, this is just the absolute. <laughs> Struggling a little bit. <laughs> it is. This is this is my whole thing. That I don't like using um, food processors. You're having trouble with the lock. I'm totally. That's that's where I always have trouble. If you if you want to assist. Oh, hey, because I can help. No, no, no. Okay, I think I'm there. I think I'm there. All right. Woo! We got it. Seriously, this is uh, why I. So <laughs> oh, don't wait. Don't just. It'll get loud. I'm gonna have you try it. <laughs> so this is one of the reasons I do not like using the food processor. You've seen my issues with the little mini Cuisinart, which is a little bit easier, is because it's such a pain in the butt. <laughs> Women so, versus machines. <laughs> exactly, but I won this time. I said be patient. Um, and of course we're doing it on stream, so you just get a little stressed. Uh, but what's what's cool about this is we're literally going to um, we're gonna let me just review this. Uh, yes, we're gonna process it in here until it forms a ball it's going to whip around a ball and then we're going to process it for 40 seconds till it's smooth now the thing that's where the other flour comes into play because once it forms a ball or if it doesn't form a ball we need to add more flour a little bit at a time until it's able to whip around because it kind of needs it and then um, it'll be ready for us to rest so so first we're going to pull this. coming together oh hello uh oh. This is the day it kicks the bucket. What the heck? Wait, I think I did something. Maddie? Oh, what do you mean? I don't know what I did. Hold on. Well, it's not. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's still, the machine was mad. It didn't like, I apparently was not no. speaking. Now, do it again. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I shouldn't have stopped. So this is a little old. Maybe I should get a new food processor. I've had this since I started making pasta, which was a, a bit of time ago. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, it has to lock all the way. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it has formed a ball. I'm gonna bring this over so you can, I probably don't want to because I'm afraid it's gonna like, not work again. <laughs> But you cannot, do you think I could bring this camera over? What? Yeah, it's wireless. Do you think I could no, just, well, just, just unplug move. it? I don't think it has a lot of, um, so I'm gonna, right, so I'm gonna move this over because I want y'all to see this. And hopefully you have a food processor that works a lot better than mine um, because I want to show you this. So I'm gonna take this off here. Oh, you could have just left oh, it. Oh, I should have left it. Would you put it back in there for me? <laughs> Why do I And have I'll just to? bring it over. Okay, well, let's, you're, you're, let's you're just do, it? Okay. do this now. So. I'm gonna make sure they can see it. So see how it's like a big old ball right there? So that just took a couple of seconds of a properly working food processor. Um, but then it is a bit wet. I can look in here and I can see, I'm gonna go like up here and kind of see in there, it's a little bit wet. So I wanna add a little bit more flour because this is the flour that we're gonna be, you know, rolling and making thinner into the pasta. So I'm gonna add just a little bit at a time, about a tablespoon at a time, and I'm just gonna, Pulse to see. I want it to 
Yeah, see that's coming apart, so I want to just add a little bit more. the thing with with pasta with bread sometimes okay I think it's good I'm gonna now let it um, knead for just a little bit till it's smooth about 40 seconds Ooh. okay I just want to come back together because it kind of went apart take it apart. My ball kind of came apart, which I didn't want to have happen. So, you know what, Matt? Hmm? Since it's been a hot minute, I'm going to add a little more flour and see if it changes back into the ball, because it kind of spread out a bit. Okay. It concerns me. Because when I made this last time, I know it came together quite easy. Much better. Yes, and it's not so wet. So I want to show this. This is still on? No. Put this one on for me so I can show. Okay. There we go. So, like, you can see, oh, it's kind of late, but, like, it's not sticking. I don't know if you can see. It's not sticking at all. It's not sticking at all to, um, to my finger, which is good. You don't want it super sticky. You want it moist, but not super sticky. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take this out. We're going to try to, and I'm going to flour this a little bit. So let me put this in. Do you think that camera's a little delayed? Because it looked like super delayed when we were doing it. I mean, yeah, it's a wireless camera. So oh, it's so it's going to be. <laughs> Even once it's plugged back in? Well, it's not plugged into the computer. Oh, gotcha. It's just plugged in for charge. I see. Thank you. See, that's why I have the tech guy here, because he explains all this stuff to me. I'm just going to take the rest of this off, because this will make <laughs> wonderful... you be nervous with those blades. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't go to the blades. <laughs> there we go. Do you want to fill that with water, by the way? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. So I'm just gonna put this on a uh, floured board and we wanted it to wrap it up in some plastic wrap and let it rest. So um, would you mind getting me a piece of plastic wrap, bud? I'll finish with this if you wanna get a piece of plastic wrap since my fingers are gooey. So you can see, like I think, I think I made it a little harder than it needs to be. Again, it's been a hot minute since I've made the homemade pasta, but one thing you want to make sure is that it's not super sticky. You want it to be fairly smooth, and the flour is going to enable it to take away that wetness, so to speak. So it's going to feel a little bit drier to the touch. Thank you. So we're going to take this. We're going to wrap it. By the way, Dia said, uh, I'm getting my popcorn. This is entertaining. Probably to your <laughs> escapades. I'm so glad. We are so glad. You know, we are an entertainment channel here. So it's wrapped, and we're just going to set this aside. Now, for the recipe, it says a half hour, but honestly, just for a period of time. And I think by the time we do our next steps here, we'll, it'll be about half hour, and it'll be just fine. So I'm going to set this aside. So one of the things we are going to do, because this is going to be our dinner, is I was going to, and I know you were super excited about this part, is I'm going to be making a salad um, that actually I'd seen on one of my favorite shows, and I talk about this on the stream, The Kitchen, and it was by one of their chefs, um, uh, Jeffrey Zakarian, I think I'm saying his name right, GZ as he's known oh, at, yeah. and he made this Italian salad. Now, I love a good Italian salad, and I like one that's got some zip, and this one's cool because it has a lot of different contrasts. So if you would get out the other cutting board, we're going to save that one for when we're doing the pasta. I'm going to get out some of our lettuces that, that we're going to The big to one? The, yeah, the one that they, um, that one. Yeah, the taller one. Yep. So for our salad, we were just at my favorite market. We are going to be needing some um, on Dave and Dive, I never, do you know how to say that? I always figure, after we had that one commercial that talked about the pronunciations, I was like lost. Some radicchio and some arugula. So thank you. And then also down there um, in the back is, can you get like the medium clear bowl in the back there, babe? Thank you. 
and just give this a good rinse. Oh, in the back? So, the glass one? Yeah, the glass one, the medium one. So what's nice is I love all the different textures and colors in this salad. And then it has a nice, simple vinaigrette, super zippy, which is, oh, yeah, I'm going to need the big one. I'm sorry. The medium one is smaller than I expected. So, and I love the mixture of these lettuces. I think that, I just think the combination, I love arugula, I like the pepperiness, but I think then with the escrow and the endive, endive, whatever the heck it's called, it makes a nice combination. Thank you. Perfect. That was perfect. So we're gonna scooch a little space here. And then all we are gonna do, in fact, I can, Put that like here. Do you want to turn that one on while I'm chopping the camera, babe? Mm. Can you turn the camera scene? Archie's awesome. Hey, Archie, how are you? So these are two of the best people, DS and Archie. Take that... off your cap and get your chef's hat on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Don't have that. Yeah, also I noticed you have the... Uh... The apron. I do your, your because branded apron. I have the branded apron because of dealing with flour and pasta. I figured I was uh, going to protect myself a little yeah, bit. Yeah, see, all that flour today is going to just show up perfectly on, on my shirt. black you wore shirt. Black. It was a perfect color to wear. <laughs> so I'm just going to put, I don't know, like a, a little smidge of arugula there. I think it's called, is this called Rocket in England? Arch? I'm not sure. Arugula? I feel like it's called something different. I don't know why things are called different in different places, but... Well, because they have different languages. <laughs> no, but I mean, when you think about... Yes, I know. So would you put that up there? Thanks. In the fridge? Apparently, I shouldn't have invited him because he's a smart ass. Fridge? Yes, please. Top it's my shelf. it's my specialty. Yes, top shelf. Yes, the saltiest of my children is this one here. Right? Yeah. Yes. In fact, he I got... I like my salt, both in my you, cooking and in my language. Yes. And when you were a graduate from high school, he got just salt shakers from a friend. So oh, yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was, it was a very tongue-in-cheek. Very tongue-in-cheek. Yeah. Your friends were great. Yeah. So then for the... Um, did anyone decide on endive or endive? Yeah. Rocket. Yes. Oh, for posh. Rocket. Very nice. So I was saying, Arch, to DS, that I'm not, not sure really how to say E-N-D-I-V-E. -E. Is it endive or endive? Endive sounds posh, like we're catch, so I'm not really sure. So all I'm going to do with this endive is I'm just going to make it, I'm going to kind of chunk it until I get to the core. I do not want the core, but I just want these like ribbons of yellow. So which of these is your favorite, Maddie? Oh, um, none of them. <laughs> <laughs> He struggles with his vegetables. Not a, not a big salad guy. Um, However, you know what, what they're going to find ironic is that something you really, really like is um, uh, kale chips. Oh, I love them. Yeah. So what, he, he I will don't know. eat this, but he eats well, kale okay, chips? To be fair, for me, a lot of it is salad vinaigrettes I, I'm or, and dressings in general. I don't like a lot because since a lot of them have vinegar, I, I'm not a vinegar person. It's just... It's for my taste buds, it's just like too intense and I yep. don't enjoy it. Um, so I think that's honestly, I think that's more of what it is. Okay. Um, like lettuce, but lettuce is just like nothing, you know? So I'm not just going to have, really have, I'm not just going to gonna eat a bowl of lettuce, you know? So if you had to eat a, have a dressing, what would you, what would, which one would you stomach best? Anything that doesn't have vinegar. Well, they, they all kind of have vinegar. Exactly. So That's would you kind of would you point. would you like one that has more like a sweet dressing? Uh, mm, probably not. No, but I mean, again, okay. it's the okay. fundamental okay. issue is with the vinegar. Right. Like so that. if you're at a girlfriend's house, what dressing would you less least gag on? I don't even know dressings, so I'm, okay. I don't know because I know at a girlfriend in high school you ate a salad because you were at. Okay. Folks house well, yeah. in front of the folks. But, so sometimes we do things because, yeah. you know, we kind of suck it up, right? Yeah. All right. So that is our salad. So. Well, then I feel like at that point, it almost doesn't make a difference. I'm going to tolerate anything if that's the situation, you know. That's true. That's true. <laughs> you tolerate anything for a girl? Yeah. Even I'm liver? Sure you you kind of have to. Would you tolerate liver? What? Okay. Well, that might be crossing. <laughs> So I'm just looking. I, I'm fussy with my list. Just want to make sure there weren't any funny looking pieces. So I'm just, my hands are clean. So I'm just tossing 
those and look how beautiful this is i think he calls it tricolor salad and it's just gorgeous and i love all the different textures and flavors and so i just think that is lovely very nice all right so can you put this back in the fridge sure are we we're done with make salad the dressing. Cam? yes we're done with salad cam okay okay in the fridge in the fridge top shelf there. yeah just move you can make room yep perfect He doesn't have the fridge skills like Mama does. I have good fridge skills. That's fine. I have mad fridge skills. I can make anything fit. And freezer skills, actually. Okay. Alrighty. So now we're going to make the zippy dressing that he's going to love. You'll love this dressing, I promise. Can't wait. Yeah. Can you I'll try it, but... Will you put that down? This one you're um, not going to like because it's going to be zippier. Oh, I'm still going to try it okay. just oh, for the reaction. I love it. Hello, DX. I'm so excited about that. Um, Hub says hi, DS. Drawer? Yes. Um, yep, right there is good. All right, so now for the dressing. The dressing is super simple. I have all the ingredients right here. We are going to use, you can use a champagne vinegar or a sherry vinegar. And honestly, you could use any vinegar you have. Like, never stop just because you don't have the exact type of vinegar. Just find one you have and give it a go, right? And maybe it's a little more tart and you need to add, add a little more of the sweet element. You're going to use Dijon, which is a very common element in vinaigrettes. Mustards, they kind of help everything come together. And I'm using a little mini um, jar so we can shake it up, which is what I did the last time. And then we've got some... The last drips and drabs of honey from Pennsylvania. Oh, wow, you're almost out. I know, but I have a whole nether. Oh, you have like a nice, oh wait, don't you have that really nice honey? Yeah. 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 So, and then um, some extra virgin olive oil and salt and pepper. You see that one right there? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the one. Very nice. Okay, so that's all it's gonna be. So we're gonna put in here um, a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. So let me get my I'm going to have to guesstimate because I don't have any cut measures left. Well, I'll use this one. That's fine. Got a nice little noise. We're just going to estimate quarter cup. I tell my daughter if she doesn't eat salad, she has to wash up and clear to the kitchen. Well, luckily for me, it's too late for them to do that because I've already moved out. This is true. <laughs> so a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. We're going to do just a half teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Oh. Yep, there we go. Wow, that really yeah, my Dijon's like exploded. A, my Dijon's a little bit anxious to get out. Kind of explodes, so just a little drab. There we go. Quarter teaspoon. And then we're also going to be doing, I'm sorry, that was supposed to be a half teaspoon. I should add a little bit more. That wasn't quite enough. Let me add just a little bit more. One more little loop. And then just a quarter teaspoon of honey. But like you, if it was too puckery, you could always add a little more honey. So just a quarter teaspoon, there we go. That's what I like about those because honey is so sticky, it's hard to get off a spoon. And then we're gonna be doing one tablespoon of sherry vinegar. Would you get the tablespoon measure there? Thank you, dear. Oh! You okay there, bud? Yeah. So one tablespoon. Up and then let me close it. And I want to see this actually surprised me because I think his measurements were more vinegary than that. I wonder if he changed it just for the general public. So when I taste it, I might add a little bit more vinegar. Uh, what are you smiling about? That just, oh, just the. No. <laughs> well, I think champagne vinegar. I just can't smells do, I so cannot good. do vinegar. I just, it's not. I'm just going to do a nice big pinch of salt. I'm just laughing at uh, RCMG. A nice back and forth. thing of pepper. So the other thing that we're going to be putting in the salad is something I know you do like, and that is equal amounts Parmesan and Pecorino. Uh -huh. So would you mind, um, on top of this, actually just get a paper plate. Would you get a paper plate? It. I know, I got the pre-shredded Pecorino. Because <laughs> we go through pre Even I buy block. <laughs> a Pecorino now? Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah, know I do. that. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's shading his mom. And, and, well, no. And the, I think the reason I do it is because okay. um, when I... Okay, get yeah, pre-shredded. I usually go a little bit crazy because I love pecorino and I mean parmesan too. So the pecorino I, has that like has that bite, has I know, that just, saltiness. So it's so good. I, I found that by getting like a, a block? block of it and having to shred it, I end up having less of it because oh. I have to work for it. That's so, smart. You're I learning. Not, You're learning. I like end up how not to... splurging to some like ridiculous extent on the uh, the cheese. 
Yeah, I want more vinegar. That's not vinegar enough for me. <laughs> and he's like, really? <laughs> I could use less. Okay. Preferably none. So maybe I, that's the secret. I could just have a oil. dressing. Just some oil. Just without any vinegar. There you go. Okay. So I just added a touch more. I think because when I was watching the show, they were talking about how he was making his measurements more puckery, but then I think they changed it when they put that on. Come to the UK and I'll help you get over your fear of vinegar. I don't know if I want to get over it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh. Yes. Do not fear the vinegar. The vin and vinegar is good for you. I think Listen, it, it only, has a lot of health the, benefits. The only use I see for vinegar is apple cider vinegar to kill fruit fry flies. I, I, besides that, I have no use for it in my kitchen. <laughs> oh, one of these days, one of these days, someone's going to catch capture your heart, and you're going to change all of your tastes forever. We'll see. Yes. Well, I, and taste buds do change as you get older, so they do change. So. As he sold me out, and I did get, because we do go through this quite quickly in our house, so I did get the uh, pecorino that is already shredded, but we ne I never get that for Parmesan. I yeah. always get the block. Well, and to be fair, this stuff's pretty good. I mean, yeah. yeah. So will you get out a paper plate, and I want you to um, shred like two tablespoons of this for our salad, and then I'll get two tablespoons from here. Two tablespoons. Okay. So this is a tablespoon, my love. Okay. You're just visualizing two of these. Okay. So you're visualizing like See, usually that. I just kind of wing it. You can <laughs> wing it. Cheese. Oh no, with this you can wing, but I don't want a cup yet. Okay. Actually, I don't want a cup at all. We are, our star today is Pecorino. We're just inviting Parmesan for a little bit right. with our salad. So two tablespoons of this? Two tablespoons. Okay. In fact, you know what I'll do? Because um, I just want to, I don't want to forget both of them. So I'm going to use the other side because I think, yeah, I'm just going to get the pecorino here Whoops. so then you can see it. Uh oh. I know that's what the guys here love best is getting that little chunk out. So then I want about that much. Oh, okay. I'm smart. Yeah, I know. I'm a smart cookie. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're really fishing for the compliments here. Well, yeah. You know, I try. I try. What? Oh. Somebody wants a chunk. Oh, you, oh. Uh, I wonder who that could be. Do you think it's Shelby who wants oh, the chunk? Well, she just got up, so she might want them too. So. Catch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that it's Shelby. <laughs> so I thought it was a little funny that Shelby, our, our, our old girl Shelby, got actually more views than the soup I made this week when I shared. she's a dog. I know, when I shared the little bed debacle that we were having here with her new bed. But today she's been laying on it more. Not as much as her old bed, so but she's been laying on it more. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say this. Sure. I think you would be, you would potentially see better results if you didn't have the old bed well, on the floor. Well, we are, it's going right tonight, sweetie, hubs, right? It's going tonight. Oh, he's not listening to me. I think we're we're putting it in trash tonight. Okay. We just we just wanted to like kind of introduce it, not yeah. like go cold turkey. Yeah. What? Okay. We, we're putting her bed in the trash tonight, the old one, right? We can put it in trash. Oh, there's no more oh, room yeah, still. Oh. oh yeah, there is not city problem. There is not room. Is that? Yeah, that's okay. perfect. You did very well. Alrighty. Was this a bag for it? Yes, I'll put it away. So we've gotten our stuff for our salad ready because we want that salad ready to go when we get our pasta sauce ready because mm -hmm. everything, once we get to the cooking of the pasta, things are going to happen fast. So, you know, they talk about with a lot of Asian cooking, having um, mise en place, making sure everything's in place for when you're gonna be cooking. But honestly, with some of these sauces, Maddie, especially carbonara and um, what's the what's the peppery one you like? Um, cacio e pepe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those, you just need everything ready because when the pasta's done, you want to eat it. You yep. don't want to be yep. pussyfooting around. So anyway, so I'm just going to give this a quick little stir to mix these so that when we toss them, they'll be all stirred for our salad. And you were giggling. What are, what are our friends? Well, uh, Archie said uh, in reference to the taste bud thing, uh, they do indeed taste buds evolve as does your waistline. <laughs> <laughs> That's the danger. <laughs> Absolutely. All righty. So our cheese is ready for our salad. Don't let me forget to add that. That's the one. That's the one thing you will like in our salad. Um, so before we get our pasta out and get started, before we're done letting it rest, I did want to talk a little bit about our. In fact, I'm going to put move this here about because we have some decisions to make mm -hmm. about the pasta machine. So let me get this going. So this is the pasta machine. So this is actually the pasta machine that I got. Oh, actually, would you um, go. I'm gonna put this? I'm gonna move this over here a little bit. There we go. There. 
I think that can see enough. Yep, that's good. I would leave it. Okay. Because well, you want to see, you want to see here, and you want to see there. Okay. So that's why I want it back a little further. I think. I don't think we see enough of what because you're you're gonna have stuff coming out here. We're gonna actually lay something here so that we don't get it all over our notes. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm gonna I move these, these here. I'm gonna <laughs> move these here. I'm gonna move them up. That's why. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Sorry. Let me get all adjusted here so we have room for pasta. So back, so back in the day, so the reason I learned that method about using the food processor, and it's kind of like when I've talked about making scones and some of the other things I've made, whether you make biscuits, scones, pie dough, cookie, some of those cookie doughs I've made of my grandma's, I use the KitchenAid mixer because it really makes an easy job of a lot of the things that we didn't that used to be done by hand. Mm. Now pasta, like when I watch Biba, who is a chef, which is um, that I do my gnocchi that mm. you love. I know Shelby. Shelby's is. very curious about any cheese that may have yes, fallen. Yes, she's um. she's making sure our <laughs> floors are totally clean. You hear her little click click clicks of her nails, but Biba is the recipe. Of, um, she, I think it's Lydia. No, no, that's another one. B, I can't remember her her full name, but Biba was is the book I have of the gnocchi I make, and um, sh she makes all that stuff by hand. Mm. If I had been making pasta and gnocchi all my life, I'm sure I would do it all by hand, but I haven't, and so I kind of, like, for me, everyone does their way, but for me, I enjoy using some of the machines we have to help make it a little, things a little bit easier. So to me, if I can help pasta making, and eventually later, I think in November, December is when I'm gonna make the gnocchi, make gnocchi making a little bit less, I don't know, I think people get overwhelmed and they think it's gonna to be too hard, then I wanna try. So I found that when our neighbor showed me how to make pasta with the food processor, I was like, well, wow, that was like super easy. Just, it didn't become so daunting. Mm. So that's why I say that. So when our neighbor did that, she did it in there. I got this lovely recipe for basic pasta and she had one of these machines. And that's why I eventually asked for one of these um, from my folks. So this is just, um, I think it's called the Atlas Pasta Maker. I'm sure there's other brands that make it. And basically this side is where we're gonna be kind of um, feeding our pasta in, our, our dough in, and we're gonna be doing this tri-fold for a lot at the beginning to get it smooth and really pliable. And then when it is to the thickness, this is the first decision, when it's to the thickness we desire, mm. then we're gonna be running it through this side where we can either do like a fettuccine a wider, yeah. or a spaghetti. So first of all, the thickness, that's something I'm gonna need your help with. Cause I, I mean, I don't want my fettuccine or my spaghetti yeah. to be super thin, yeah. but I also want them to be like, I don't want it to be like a dumpling. Cause yeah. this is, um, I mean, you know, I wouldn't mind a dumpling if I was putting in chicken soup, but I, so we want to find that good, yep, um, that knowing, that, knowing that it'll expand a little bit, not yep. as much as dry, but somewhat. Yep. So if you decided which side you want to go, go for? Um, I think for the carbonara, I'm going to do the spaghetti. So, so we're going to do just yeah. very classics. Yep. Spaghetti carbonara. Yep. So th we'll put it through there. Um, so in any event, that is, so this side's for the cutting. This side is for the, sh I call it the smushing, and that's yeah. like a technical term. Um, and so I think now it's probably ready for us to get started. So we're going to form a little like team here, bud. Like okay. uh, uh, we're going to be having like a little assembly line, but I want you to be active. Once I put it through a couple times, I want you to get some experience doing this because anytime you want to use this or even if you feel like I'm not using enough and you want to steal it from the household, that would be totally fine because as long as it gets used, right? Yep. Why well, have a machine that doesn't get used? Yep. So that's enough chit chat from Mama. So we're going to bring this board back and we're going to bring our rested pasta back. I'm going to take off my rings. Uh-oh. The ring went in the cheese. A little cheesy ring. A little cheesy ring. Um, so, friends, how is the sound today? Because the sound, as DS knows, I was telling well, you. Now that we have it facing the correct direction, I think. So we think that's the problem. <laughs> and I know I'm just so embarrassed. Like I can't believe it happens. how many months into this and I'm still making rookie errors. Now, ooh, it's a little wet there. You see that? No, we'll see okay, that. so I'm going to have that go down here. And now I want to divide this pasta into eight sections, and we're going to need a big, long piece to cover it up and keep it moist while we're waiting. So do you want to get like a... Mm -hmm, because we're going to be covering this after we separate it. By the way, rookie is a full year. Oh, so then what am I? Novice? Right? No, you're a rookie. Okay, so I get to be a rookie for a full year. There we go. So I'm going to divide this in half. And then I'm going to divide 
them into eight pieces, just generally around the same size. One second. Eight pieces. So you see, that's why this is, do you have one of these tools yet? No. Okay, we need to get you one of these. They're just great. They're great even if you're chopping a bunch of vegetables and scooping them up. It's a great tool. All right, so we are going to, are you having fun there? I'm waiting to do something. Okay, so I just wanna make sure this has enough flour and we have our flour here in case we need it, which is good. And then we're over here, we're just going to cover, we don't need this, let me get that out of the way. We're just going to cover this with the saran. Okay. Uh-oh. I tried. <laughs> saran wrap is a bit fussy, yes. isn't it? So we just want to cover it so it doesn't get all dried out. We want it to dry after we cut it. After we cut it, yes, we want it to dry out. So I'm just going to kind of cover this to help it stay a little bit moist. Okay. And there we go. Oh, wait. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't take a piece out. There we go. Right? One, two, three, four. Okay, okay. My goodness. What's going on? I just want to make sure I was... <laughs> so then all I'm going to do right now is I just... I don't want it to stick, okay? And I'm just going to be running it. The first time I run it through, I have it on the widest setting, and that's one. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I'm going to run it through the first time just like this. And hope it goes in. I might need to smush it a little bit to get it to go through. There it goes. So the watch, see? Easy go. peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Now, the next thing you do once you want to, you're going to be putting a little bit of flour each time because you don't want, um, you don't want it to stick. Then you're going to do a tri-fold. So see this here? You're going to fold it once, twice. Might need to smush just a little bit. And then we are going to be um, running it through again. And we do this, I think it's about six times we do this. Let me just double check. Yeah, about six times. So this is all, this is basically like, we're basically like kneading this right now. So we're getting it to be super smooth in texture and getting it ready to go eventually thinner. So see, but see how it's kind of tacky? So yep. we just, we, so I don't mind it being tacky on the inside. I just don't want tacky on the outside. So I don't want it to stick to my yep. maker. So how many times was that? Three. Good. Was that correct? Or yes, and I'm going to do the next one. Wait, see, I already I'm doing too much. Okay. Oh, God. So now you're going to do this one. So now just add a little bit of flour to okay. the outside there. How do I... <laughs> just... Is this covering? Yeah, I think we need to move this so people can see, right? Yeah, there we go. Just, it's fine. And now you're going to put it in. You guys, okay. So see how squish, how, yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, want to yeah. smush it a little bit. Nice. And you're welcome to stand over here if you want. Now, um, now keep the tacky. Yeah, keep one side tacky for where you're folding it, and then, yep. And then, mm -hmm. and the other side. Yep. And then swish it a little and yep. get it in. And that should be the sixth time, right? I think that was the sixth time. I think it's the sixth time. Maybe it'll even five. Okay, we'll do it one more time for good measure. I don't think there's like a magic thing about this. It's just that <laughs> you do it the seventh time and it's ruined. <laughs> I think it's just that it's getting it nice and smooth. Okay. Nice. Okay. All right. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we are going to be starting to have this. Go we're done doing the trifold. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making it thinner and thinner. So now we're going to want both sides kind of floured enough. Again, just enough. We don't want too much flour, just enough so it doesn't stick. And now you're going to rotate that to number two. Oh? You pull out. Oh, okay. That was yep. like, there you like go. this is just like not okay. moving at all. And then you just have it go through. DS congratulates the Phillies for winning, by the way. Oh my so, gosh, yeah. I can't believe I didn't mention the Phillies. It was such an excited, exciting day yesterday. Thank you so much. That was awesome. So now you want to turn to three and you put it through. It's all floured. Okay. There you go. Just like this? Mm hmm Yes, we are super excited. We have the Eagles playing tonight. The Flyers won last night. We've got, now, so how does it feel to you? Does it feel tacky or? <laughs> it's actually pretty smooth. I wouldn't put, mm, just a tiniest little yeah, bit. Yeah, I was going to say, because it had the, tiniest do we bit. turn it down again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to turn, keep turning it until we get the desired thickness. So that's what you want to think about. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, it's definitely too thick still. At least I think so. Nice. See? You're doing great. Hmm. Okay, it's getting there. But that, it's... but it expands. So that's yeah, pretty so thick. I, yeah, it's... yeah. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Got a little sticky for a sec. Yeah, so we want to add a little. Yeah, more. I think it needs some. So, right. what do you think, Shell? <laughs> Darn dog. Shelby, it's flower. <laughs> Get out of here. She's like, flower is the best darn flower I've ever had. Oh, yeah, come on. Let's go. She is very food driven. And she knows it's we're get, we're getting towards um towards dinner time. So what do you think? I think we should do it one more time. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So we're going now to six. So both of us like a toothsome pasta. Um so we don't we don't want to tooth it. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Whoa. Okay, so this one got a little. So, okay. So, if this happens, this is good. See how it kind of. Well, it's bad. <laughs> see how it kind of like spread out. What we're going to do is we're going to take that wet side. We're going to bring it through. We're going to bring it back to the five because the six did not work well. It was too wet for the six. We're going to flour on the outside and we're going to smush it back together because that wasn't working. So let's see. We might need to smooth it a couple times just to make sure. Okay. Because basically what you want is you want this pretty dry. So being that we haven't made this in a while, this tells me that I'm being actually, you never want to over flour, but you also don't want under flour because you don't want what just happened, which was sticking. So there we go. Oops. All right. So this isn't perfect, but that's better. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna put it through, well actually, you know what? Let's just make a couple strips and then we'll put it through on the other side. So I'm gonna take this and I, where am I gonna put this? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know with this. I think we'll just hang this over on the rack right now until we're ready to, um, until we're ready to cut. And at least get a couple more done. So grab another spot. So this is the boring part, friends because like this just takes a little while. So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have, I'm gonna start getting some of that stuff ready oh and we're gonna just try to like get through this, right? Mm -hmm. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, get all of these, whoopsie. We're gonna get all these onto one. We're gonna do all that first process first, you know, just getting them tri-folded six times. So this goes in first, just like that, not the tri-fold yet. And I'll get you another one to do. And I'm just going to kind of feed you pasta so that and we can. Trifle? Nope, not yet. Because I'm going to, for the interest of time. Oh, just, so we're just like. We're just getting. Doing it we're going to do an assembly line, friends. Alrighty. We're going to pulse through this pasta. So it's great when you have a partner. Partnered, pa partnered pasta. Okay. There you go. Second. There you go. This is how they do it in the pasta shops. They're right. <laughs> they have an Atlas pasta maker. Definitely not anything more advanced. <laughs> Let's get this. All right, so get that one in. Okay, and now I'm gonna start try folding. Go. It's still at this level, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah we're going to six times. So oh, wait. Do I put it in like this? I usually put it in this way. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just... Now I'm going to set these aside a second. One second. You're good. Oh, so we're going to just keep doing that um, for six times because it's going to be too hard to keep in track. So that, that was one. Yep. This is two. Yeah. And if you need any flour, just rub it. Yep. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's okay. There we go. Plenty of flour. Nice. Is that four or is that five? Is this five? Okay. Okay, now the 
this is one. Yep. And let me know if you want me to switch and have me do any of them. We'll good. switch like halfway. Okay, sounds good. You're doing great. You can keep an eye on the comments. Yes, I agree, DS. I'm actually glad that that happened, that I messed up on that first one. Because, you know, sometimes you're like, either A, am I putting enough flour in? Or B, am I pushing this pasta past its limit um, because of its moisture content? And so you kind of got to kind of like figure that out. This will be so good. There is nothing like homemade pasta. Is that good? Yep. Want to do one more? Yep. And then I'll do the ones. All right. So, um, DS and I were having a conversation about um, the carbonara because the recipe, Maddie, that I wanted to use is one that is um, classic to the Italian way, which, oh, okay. which awesome. does not use cream. And a lot of yep. places in the United States use cream. So, true, it's such a simple recipe. It's eggs, pecorino romano, pepper, and... That I mean, that's it. It's and oh, I'm sorry, the pancetta. It, well, so let me just start with that. So it's supposed to be guan, guanciale. I'm not really sure how to say. It's it's the cheeks, um, but I was not I able to find it. You, but oh, I was not able to find it. So I'm gonna have to settle for pecorino, which will still be good. It's considered a version. Um, and then we even had trouble finding it of pecor, pecorino, but we not pecorino. Um, what am I thinking? Parmesan? No, the meat. Oh, a pancetta. Pancetta. All these P words. Pasta, pancetta, pecorino. Oh, my lord. Parmigiana. Uh, Parmigiana. Yeah, what did oh, they... Oh, switch. Did they have a thing with the P words or something? Uh, okay, wait. just make sure that's flour. Uh, yeah, switch. Okay. Yeah, these have to be done still. So. But anyways, they do. They have a lot of P words. Uh -huh. Did you ever notice that? And then there's gnocchi, which is not a P. Yeah. But, um, but in any event, so it's really simple. And I think what makes it... What did he say? Is it's he, a Pinocchio. <laughs> Oh, hubs! It's easy when you're not when you're not in front of the camera to be all funny, right, hubs? That's two. So, what do you think oh, so far? <laughs> I just went like this and went like that to try to get some of the flour right and then just put more flour on me. There's a towel right there. That's three. My infinite wisdom. So, what do you think so far about the pasta? Huh? Like about making pasta. Um, it's definitely time consuming, I will say. Uh, it's definitely, like, it's something that you, I don't know if it's something that you really do on a whim. It's like unless, unless you're having a moment and you yeah. need, like, You're just like, I need to make pasta for, like, I'm an frustrated. hour or two. Yeah. But, um, it's fun. I'll give it that. It's like Play-Doh, really. That's yeah. what it reminds me of, is playing with Play-Doh. Um, and you know what? You play some great music. You have a glass of wine. <laughs> Except... <laughs> Except us, we have no drinks and no music. Well, I didn't know if you wanted. But yes, if you were at home doing this, I didn't know. That if you, would make I didn't it. know if you wanted any music. I mean, any wine. And frankly, you I are, so. You were at home. Yeah. I had so many sound. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not at home either. <laughs> I had so many sound issues. I didn't want to do music today because I, I just was so frustrated with how things sounded. I'm a I'm kind of a perfectionist with this streaming thing. Kind of. <laughs> Meaning I I'm a little hard when things don't sound as I want them to. So um, I just thought I'm gonna keep it simple this time. Would you like to make your drinking? No, actually I didn't know if Maddie wanted some wine. Well, I feel like for making pasta. I know. Yes. And, and and we will, hey. The, the question one, is what? No, go, it's the cab. I even open the cab. And you know me, I don't usually like having a cab without food. But I know you love a cab. He loves a cab, I love me my cab. Yeah, and that's the one, that's our Genesis one that we got when we got the new car. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, pasta to me is not something you do in a rush. And it's not something that you, like you said, do on a whim unless you have nothing else in front of you. But I do think you do it as almost a means to an end. Like someone, like for people, like a lot of times enjoy gardening because it's relaxing. You kind of have your hands in the earth. With pasta, you have your hands in the food, right? And you're just kind of making something. That, the good thing about pasta, though, is that you know it's going to be so good. Are you like, Yep, homemade pasta, there is just nothing like it. Now, the only sad thing about homemade pasta, I remember this the very first time I made it, because we actually, we went all out. We not only made pasta, we made ravioli, 
Um, no, we made tortellini. I'm sorry, we did not make ravioli. We made tortellini. And the thing is, they were eaten. everything was eaten so stinking fast. I remember I was like, I oh, just worked, out, is it just twist? Oh, I worked twist. hours on this pasta and everyone gobbled it up like in no time flat, which was a little depressing. I mean, it was, it was like complimentary, but also like, oh my gosh, like I worked so hard and it's gone. But that's what happens when you have good food, right? It just goes quick. So yes, I would love a glass of wine. To me, it's just relaxing. And I, there was someone else um, on Twitter, I think it might have been Susan, and she just likes having a glass of wine. Do you want like a red wine glass? Yes, please. When she's cooking. I just think it's such a relaxing, it just, it makes, because I think oftentimes cooking is looked at as a chore. And granted, trust me, there's times in my life that cooking has been a chore. But when I have added things I like with it, like music, and maybe a glass of wine, or maybe you're doing it with a friend or your loved one. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, it becomes less a chore and more fun. It's like an activity. I've kind of lost count of what number I'm on with this. So I'm going to say maybe I have two more. I need some more flour. So you can see I'm just leaving flour here so that it's easy. Like, you know, kind of set up your station so that it's easy for you. Now, some people actually. I feel like pasta machines were having a moment back in the 80s. This is the last one I'm going to do um, for, for this last roll. And, but then also the electric models. There's an electric model of pasta maker, which I'm not going to throw shade at because, if, you know, trust me, I use some machines um, to do other things to make it easier. But I do think that... Um, to me, if I'm going to make pasta, I'm going to do it like this way. I'm not going to, I just don't, I don't think I want another, I don't think I want electric mm -hmm. pasta maker, but that's just me. And if you like that, that's totally fine. Cause frankly, if it gets you good food, that's good. How's the wine? He's the expert. Mm. Oh my God! It's no, is it quite, good or yeah, is oh it, yeah, it's a good, it's, it's a, a good, good one. one. Okay, <laughs> I couldn't tell, so I will try it. Can you bring mine over? Actually, I haven't had a cab in a while. I was like almost taken aback by the, the tartness because I'm Two. just bit, it's been a minute. Oh, so am I gonna? Am I? Gonna, is it gonna be a little tart for the mom? No, oh, I mean it's it's a cab. You know, See, like it's not. So gonna... think about that. The tartness of vinegar. It's just like the tartness of a wine. They're no, all grapes. They are the all taste. grapes. That's the difference. <laughs> It, it, it has nothing to do with the tartness and like the, you know, it's the, gotcha. it's the flavor. I see. Okay, let's see. This is four. So we're almost done. So, th so this is kind of a nice way to do it because, you know, you're kind of getting everything worked to a, a point and then it's kind of resting a little bit. And one more time. You want a glass? No. And play one more time. There we go. All right, so these are done. Now these can sense. these can go in. Oh, is that mine? It's pretty good. It's not anything like too crazy, but it's it's good. Like no, but it's actually some cabs are so aggressive that I can't really drink them mm. without with without having food with it and that one is quite smooth for a cat. Oh, oops, sorry. I would put it somewhere else. <laughs> Thank you. You're right. That's it's back there. Yeah. How about right here? That's fine, right? Okay. So, friends, we have gotten all of our pasta. You can see, let me move this over this way. We've gotten all of our pasta past that first phase of going through the very first setting and then doing the trifold and going through the setting six more times. So these are all ready now to start building down. So why don't we make a, a little team here, put it down to the second one, and yep. we're gonna just put these all through another time, okay? Right. Let, me, let me actually do it like this so that it makes sense and I'll put them up. Okay, there you go. And I'll make sure they're well floured. There we go. You can just flop it down, actually, on this. Okay. <laughs> you told me to flop it down. I flopped it down. <laughs> I'll flop it. Doing a lot of flopping. <laughs> okay. 
I really feel like we should have some like Italian music going. You know? <laughs> no, I do. So, so remember back? Um, I don't know if couples remember this. Back when we were living in um, Jersey, that I was on this kick where. Oh, I re- I didn't remember that. So tell about the kick. Well, like you, there was like a, a playlist or something. Was it on? Um, did we do? Uh, that? We what's the Pandora? Pandora. That's. Yeah. The, I was trying to remember what you guys used. But I had like I had a Greek playlist. I had an Italian playlist, and now we're gonna go down to. Did we do all of them? Yeah, oh, just do that. Make sure we did that one because they just look shorter. We had a Greek, Italian, French. I don't think we did this one. <laughs> Maybe we did it. Just try that one. A Greek, Italian, French. Um, German. We had all these playlists. So whatever kind of food. Uh, maybe we, we might have done that. One. Whatever kind of food I would make. So now we're going to go back down. Okay. I would play that kind of music, and I would just generate the list based upon what Pandora suggested. It was. Yeah, it was. It sounds like you're having a it was, <laughs> That's why we didn't invite him because he's not nice, right? Oh. There we go. Doing well. So what we're on number three. Yep. But I loved that. I just I liked the French station. When you look yeah. up French music, it was just very like I don't know. It was just exactly what you'd expect. It was really cool. You do say to us. You know what? I knew I liked you. He does the same thing. So you can just go <laughs> not UGS. Yes, absolutely. It just, it brings the mood. I am with you. I think it brings the mood. It up it ups the level. You sure we didn't do the one? No, these are all, I just put oh, these all here for you to do. So I, I just, I don't know. Like, I like to immerse myself in that. I, I just think it's cool and fun. I think I actually got the idea originally with the French music. I was watching, it was a time that I was watching. I hadn't started watching Mad Men back when it came out, but I, well, now we're going to just do it again. Yep. I um, had started watching Mad Men back when it came out. I was a late starter to it. And there was this one point in Mad Men where this woman he was seeing at that point, not his wife, um, she was very into French. Um, and so I was like, oh, just the song was so cool. And that's, I think, when I started then just kind of looking and seeing. Yeah. So I'm going to make sure it's well flowered this time. I'm just going to put these here. Thank okay. you. So I love that. I just I just think it's mood music. And now granted, you know, we also love, um, you know, doing music from the 70s, 80s, different artists. Um, there was someone on- It was like your 90s too. And got oh, and R&B absolutely, and all R&B and all that, absolutely. Jazz. But like Guardians of the Galaxy and jazz, oh my gosh. There was a woman on Twitter actually that recommended the Nina Simone. By, if you look up Nina Simone and do her mix, on Pandora, it is outstanding. It is so such a great jazz mix. Okay, now we're ready to go back down. So this where is the we? last one. This is five. Okay. Because six is where it started falling apart last time. Right. So we moved back to five. Although I would love to, well, let's just see what five is like. Because yep. I would love to try it with one that's well flowered and see if it was just that it wasn't flower enough or because that it was too thin. So I don't know. Okay. This is getting pretty thin. That is pretty thin. And I want it to be nice and toothsome. So I think we're going to wait. No oh way, these are getting a little harder to work with because they're getting so long. Um, but Nina Simone is awesome, and I forget who it was, but it was these are it was outstanding. A great, large. great mix. You're doing this great. Well done. So now I just want I do want to make sure these are well flowered for when we cut them. Thank you. I'm like impressed by how stretchy yeah. these get. Well, actually, I think that's why the resting is important because I think the resting helps with with that flexibility. Because I will say it gets a little bit more tenuous when you start cutting, <laughs> especially making spaghetti. It's a little bit easier to cut the linguine than the spaghetti. Ah, so I chose to be more no, difficult. No, 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 no. No, it doesn't mean it's impossible. Just look, because there's more of the little, you know, there's more of the little fingers. Well, if you think we should do the linguine, like for the ease that. of the stream. I, no, no, I'm yeah. just saying. No, I, you I can change. I'm not married to the I spaghetti. I love trying something new and risky, and it'll be so delicious with the, um, did we do, yeah, we could have done that. Did we do this? Yeah, because I just flowered it. Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm just like forgetting what I've done. Let me just okay. get this flower a little bit more. Okay, so now 
we are going are to we be swapping. Yes, we are swapping, and we're going to move that that rest that um that we're going to move. Yeah, yeah. because and that's we want, where the pasta. Yeah, and we from. also want to make sure that you have enough room for the um the pasta to come out. Do you think we have enough room there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Okay, and I'm going to need a little big a big little swig of wine because this is the this this is the part that gets a little bit dicey at times. All right, so take a little sip. Yo. By the way, thank you for coming over and doing this. Of course. Mm. All right. So, do you mind if I try the first one? Because since of I haven't course. done this in a long time. It's a shame you won't get to stick around and eat it. Thinking, <laughs> yeah, as soon as the stream ends, I have to get out of here. They're kicking me. And I'm also thinking, um, why don't we put that... Oh, wait, we forgot a piece. Yeah, we saw that one. Oops. Oh, the, the bad one. Well, I don't want to do the bad one first, because I'm going to feel like the bad one was... A little, we'll do that one last. Let's just, can you just get that floured well? Yeah. And then I'm gonna bring this over. So this is not needed. You can literally toss your cut pasta in some flour and um, just put it in like little piles. But since we have it, what the heck. So we have how many pieces? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, we have eight, because we made eight, that's right. Are you waiting for me? Also. Yeah, we'll oh. put this right oh, there. Oh, okay, sorry. So put that there. And all I'm gonna do, okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. That looks like pasta. Woo! We are in business. And you know what? I think it's the perfect thickness. You see that, friends? Do you see that? Yeah, that actually looks great. I'm not happy with my camera down there. It wasn't doing that before. I think I messed it up when I, I took it undone. I should have. Right. I don't, think, I don't so. think I'll do that again. I think it's probably just hot. <laughs> no, but usually it like is in sync. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm gonna do one more just because Mama had fun with that, and then you can do the rest. You, you can do half of them. I don't care. No, no, no. I want you to feel comfortable. This is just. This is me long. It's a long strand. Oh my gosh. So cool. Oh, so that would be flour. So that's why it's important to have them floured enough so they don't stick in your machine and make sure it's all out. I just saw Archie's, uh, I like cooking a slipknot. Did you see that? Oh, that's, Whoa, <laughs> Hubs Ooh. likes that. Hubs was very happy with that. Do, <laughs> do you want to? Uh... Get some pasta. No, it's okay, just they can say that there. Do you want to do it? Sure. There you go. I think Archie and I have the same musical. Did you hear the Archie? Um, Andy said that he thinks you and him are right on with the same kind of musical taste. I will say that, so this will give you a clue as to Hub's influence on me. Um, oh, I, I see the difficulty now. Well, here, there we go. I That's definitely fun. wasn't um, as much into the hard rock. And um, not only did I come to appreciate uh -oh. Metallica, did it stick a little? I think we need to put a little flower in here then. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna put just a little bit of flour in here. I'm just gonna put a little flour in here just to. Excuse. Well, okay. <laughs> just to kind of get this through here. You got it. I do think it got a little weird in the middle there. It on did that get a little one. weird. Yeah. I'm just gonna toss some of these in the middle ones with flour, just so they don't stick. But anyways, Metallica, he he got me to appreciate, and um and one of my favorite bands that we were so sad about when, the drummer um. Uh, passed away this year is Foo Fighters. I absolutely love Foo Fighters. I had bought tickets for the whole family, for my son and um, daughter-in-law, Maddie, um, us. We were all going to go and watch the Foo Fighters. I've been dying to see them for years and just had put it off. And um, when Taylor Hawkins passed away, oh my gosh, I was just, that was so sad. So very sad. But um, but he improved my taste with there. I, now, what are some of the ones that I sit there and shake my head at? Um, was like it Frightened Rabbits? Frightened Rabbits, <laughs> Rage at the Machine. Um, cool. Oh, was it? Tool. Tool. Yeah. Oh, a tool. Tool's great though. So so it's funny because Maddie has had such a diverse and same with with our elder our That's other so son, but Maddie's had such a diverse upbringing with so many different kinds. Of songs because Mama has a big R and B love and um, and Dad has all this like 
besides the classic rock, all this hard stuff. Well, and I've everything like System between, of a Down. I I quite enjoy as well. It is I I think System of a Down is some of the best gym music that you can listen to. Um, so I think we. I don't we're, think we need to. We're all very we love classical music. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I we both. Well, you played a lot of instruments. I played um, piano and clarinet, and so and that just I love. I love classical music. I love, um, I just love, I really love all kinds of music. There's really not a music I don't like. When I was in college, I took a, uh, a, it was just like an intro to music class, but one of, I think my favorite parts of it was, um, as part of our assignments, we had to go in to, uh, see some, uh, oh dear. Yeah. So what I'm thinking, so this is what I'm th oh, thinking yeah, this is, is uh, I think we need to, to, um, I'm just going to put them through a second time in here before we do this because it is. It got a little jammed up. Okay, yeah. I don't know if we're going to use this one. Yeah, we're not going to use that one. That one I think is not going to. We go might need well. to clean this. Yeah, I think I think actually we're. Oh possible. yeah. Like it's really getting jammed up. Oh, it's yeah. So. Okay, so we have a little bit of a moment here. Let me just you talk while I'm trying you to. Could also that. switch halfway to linguine. Right, but they will cook differently, so that becomes. We could do little... two batches. Um, hmm. well, you know what? We will do that. We'll do the second batch that we do, um, after the stream will be linguine. That's okay. what we'll do. Okay. Good idea. Look at you. Yeah. You're thinking. Problem solving. Problem solving. Yeah. Problem solving and cooking, right? Mm -hmm. It was funny. I will have to say when I, I don't know if I ever told you this story, Matt, but when I went to uh, college, I, I, I had such a, a limited um, music exposure and I uh, was exposed by one of my by actually one of my good friends that we still get together and she lives outside Chicago to alternative music mm. and that was I had never heard of U2 which is one of my favorite bands and don't laugh at me he's laughing at me oh my goodness Wait, for what? oh because he's just so much better I had you know, it's amazing I married yeah, the but I mean, like Because can I just say, when he wooed me, he was so nice. And now that we've been married over 25 years, he's just a little stinker. <laughs> I want to say something different, but, you know, we are live. My mama taught me right. He's so mean. A I told little, him, I said, I don't think I've been friends with... Stinker. I don't think I would have been friends with you in high school. You would have been one of those guys that I was like, you're not nice. I was such a good girl in high school. Oh my goodness. All right. Hey, have you ever heard of Beatles? <laughs> okay, so anyways, pasta. Have you grown up with this, Matt? This yeah. constant torment of me from from my hubs? I would say it goes both sides. <laughs> you didn't have to say that, though. I know, but I did. Okay, so let's get this going. All right. Yeah, yeah this, this is, does come out a lot cleaner. Yeah. It's funny because I think that's why I usually choose the linguine is because yeah. I'm always afraid that's going to happen with the spaghetti. And hey, just imagine, I'm, just I'm imagine, imagine doing, doing like angel hair. No, I, yeah. I actually don't think I don't know if I would ever have the kahunas to do angel hair um, yeah, fresh because I just think I I don't know I just think that'd be tough. And by the way, if you of course I know you noticed because you were all watching, but this is an egg pasta, um, and so oh, yeah. that's why it's an egg pasta. Oh, you said it is. Yes, I it, you said it isn't. No, it is an egg pasta. Um, but I think the egg pasta for carbonara uh, are just is just going to be delicious. It's so yeah. yummy. Hey, by the way. Yes. Thumbs up on all all the answers. Oh yeah. So yes. Oh, Pearl Jam, Cool Plate. So we. So what I was talking about doing um, with Food Fighters before they had their tragedy uh, was actually we did that with the fa the family for Coldplay. And one of my favorite, oh, come on, my favorite family experiences. Remember that, Matt? We went to Lincoln Financial Field and we saw Coldplay. It was such an amazing experience, concert. Um, I mean, that I, I will never forget. I hear their songs now and I instantly bring myself back to the stadium with all the lights because they had those, we had those wristbands that Pulsated yep. color. They and have these uh, wristbands oh that are 
I, I don't even know what they really used to sync up. It was they active. actually, it probably uses, uh, getting technical, some sort of like mesh network between them, I imagine. Yeah. So meaning like one gets the signal and then it sends it to the ones near it and then they send it to the ones near it. That's what I would guess. It was but amazing. yeah, they, they would, the, you would all have wristbands that? that would sync up to the music. That, um, this was our, um, what would you call this? This was our, um, what do you call it when something dies? Like this was a casualty. <laughs> this was our casualty. You just toss it in the pot and see what happens. Um, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> that was a casualty. But yes, I love all those. Pink Floyd, U2, Queen. Oh my gosh, Queen. Another excellent, excellent. Like and actually, you know what I was like, you know who introduced me to Boston, Andy? Was my brother-in-law. I'd never really known much of Boston music. And I went, my sister was newly married and I went to visit them and we were having Chinese food. It was my first time having Egg Foo Young too. And we were playing um, Boston, More Than a Feeling. And I was like, I love this song. So I think yeah, I but he loves it. Boston. Oh, he yeah, loves yeah, Boston, yeah. Boston so, absolutely. Do you want me to like, while you're All right. doing some of this stuff, I could like try to reform this and get a linguine out of it. You can do whatever you want okay. for that. Absolutely. Okay, so we've made the pasta. We have two different um, kinds. Of course, we've got our linguine or fettuccine. It's not linguine, it's definitely fettuccine. And we have our spaghetti that is just kind of drying here a little bit. Um, and now we are going to make the pasta. But we, oh, in fact, I'm going to get that. Speaking of, um, I meant the sauce. I meant well, the sauce. Um, so I, you know what I forgot to do? We haven't cooked the pasta. I forgot to turn on the water. So we're going to wait for the big old pasta oh. pot to uh, boil <laughs> but in the meantime um i am going to actually uh i'm going to mix the salad up too so i should have so one of the things so because you know when you're streaming you're kind of thinking about a bunch of different things at one time um i said to matt i'm like can you help me remember to to turn on the pasta pot to boil but it's just hard it's like hard thinking of all those things right oh you told me to remind you that's okay I was supposed to tell myself to remember myself. Like, I did I mean, not. Obviously, it was a fail. I don't even remember you telling me. Obviously, it was a fail on many levels. So one of my hacks, though, so this doesn't happen to you, because I don't know if you're like me and you're trying to either get dinner on the table really fast or you're maybe having company over and you kind of forgot like to get, because the pasta pot can often take quite a long time, at least mine always do, to, uh, to boil. So one of the hacks that I do is I just get it, oops, I just get myself all wet. I just do it way ahead of time. And so what I should have done actually when, was when I was over there, I should just turned it on. And because even if it got boiling ahead of time, you just turn off the heat and it comes back to a boil so quickly. But no matter, we will, it won't take too, too long. Um, and I can actually talk about some things coming up. So I'm just gonna get some, the, uh, the pasta was quite, laden on my um what's it called oh look at you look so you have a casualty like we had here and look at this so yeah i, I did the trifold like three times nice. just to get it because you know it was stringy so you yeah. kind of had to get it back to a combined form but i'm super impressed matt I just do it on three. Yeah, I do. I, seriously, I, I I would have not thought that that would have worked. Um, it's just like Play-Doh. I guess it is truly just like Play-Doh. But way to be the optimist and think it's going to it's going to work out. I'm so impressed. So how how far back did you go back? Did you go all the way back to? Oh, I went all the way back to one. Okay. Yeah, I made it into like a big ball again. Gotcha. And then you know put it through. Gotcha. Can I get you some more wine? Uh, I'm good. Okay. Thank you, though. All right. So let, I'm just going to get the plates out because, like I said, all this is going to come together pretty quick. Of course, not because the pasta pot is not boiling it, so that part is not quick. But once it's boiling, it'll come together pretty quick. I'll get our forks ready. All right. And now I can tell you about what's coming up. So coming up, uh, this week we have one of our Philly reviews, our takeout reviews, try or buy. We are trying a place that we were supposed to try last month, but then um, dad couldn't go. So I put on this one, see? Yep, oh boy. It's okay. You can do them like one at a time. You can literally yep. like pick them off. 
But when Andy couldn't go to the um, the Trier Bar, you came over, so we did Macmar, yep. which was really good. And But we're doing a place called Pizza Plus, so we'll let you know, because it's a All place right. that you might want to get. has, obviously, pizza plus more, right? Eric in the name. But um, so that will be, I am so proud of you. There we go. Do you, so do not despair when you have the mess that we had there because Just Take it, it back to square one and start take over. Take it back to square one. Very impressed. High five. Well done. Nice. Um, so that'll be Wednesday. Wednesday's going to be Pizza Plus. And then on, I'm going to move this so we have room for what we're, we're tasting. Yeah. And then next weekend, I'm super excited because I'm always excited. Like when my, my line, like I'm always like, I'm super excited, but I am because I really love making the different things. And so I'm making, and I don't think Hubs even remembers this, um, one of our favorite beef stroganoffs. So wow. remember when I made that beef stroganoff and it was, we were, we were saying like it was the best recipe. It was so good. Um, and so he does remember either that or he's just feeling badly about how he treated me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyways um so that'll be on sunday around the same time i have it set for three it just kind of depends upon how the day's going and i've got to um just kind of time things out but it'll be around three it might be four but of course i'll let you know on twitter and for anyone that is joining by the way thank you uh you know so much it's been so fun chatting with ds and archie but i also um if you're watching from afar i appreciate that as well and if anyone is just joining us, please feel free to say hi in the chat. We always love to know who's joining us. Um, and right now we have made the homemade pasta. We let it rest. We put it through the pasta machine many times and we cut it into two different shapes because we had a bit of a debacle with the spaghetti. With the, with the, yeah, the spaghetti. Spaghetti. I used to say biscotti. Did anyone? Did you say biscotti when you were little? No. I used to say biscotti when I was little. And, um, and so we got too much pasta on there. It needs to be cleaned, which basically means it needs to dry and then kind of be brushed off. So we used the other side linguine for the rest of the pasta. So we are going to be basically making one shared serving which so in their world it's going to be three servings it's considered three servings of pasta which is a little bit of a joke because like maybe it's like an appetizer but um and then we're going to be making the second serving off screen and we're going to use the linguine for that but we're both we're going to be making a carbonara sauce so if you are just joining us we are getting towards the sauce stage and right now we're just waiting for the big old pot to come to a boil and then we'll be ready to get going. And do you know about salting your water? That you yes. Cook? Yes, what do you know about that? That it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know why. So, but... so it's important for a couple of reasons. Um, so- Well, obviously... I know it raises, I mean, it can raise the uh, boiling temperature of the water. Oh, see, that was something I wasn't even thinking about, and I don't know if that <laughs> necessarily matters with the pasta, but um, but there's two reasons. The first reason is that you want your pasta seasoned also because you want your pasta to oh, have yeah. flavor besides your sauce. But I will say for years, I did not, whoopsie, wait, let me get this down more. I did not salt because I do have high blood pressure, and so I was finding any ways to not um you know to, to use less salt yep. so that was an easy one i just took away but here's the thing i actually rarely eat pasta anymore like usually it's out and it's not very often at home so because of that if i'm making pasta i'm going to salt the water because of the other reason the other reason is that this i've come to fully understand is pasta water after you've cooked your pasta and it is liquid gold because it has all the starches from the pasta and if you've salted it well it's seasoned too mm -hmm. so when you're adding that to your sauce to either create the sauce or thin it out a bit it's flavored it's not just the starch it actually has flavor too with the salt so that is why the salt's really important so yep so as far as how much you salt it um that's really up to you to decide uh, you know i know on gc gz says salty like the sea I don't know if mine is that salty, but it is salty. I put a considerable amount of salt in there, mm. um, but that's why, because it becomes this great thickener and um, seasoned element, which is really kind of cool. Let me check it. So I was going to bring it's, it's getting there. I was going to bring this up while you were uh, talking about the pizza that you're going to be trying. So I, I don't, I guess I didn't really talk to you about this. Yeah. I was over at. Um, on Thursday this week, I was at 
uh, my cousin Erica's place, because uh, she also lives here in Philly. Um, and uh, I met uh, um, Alan, finally, uh, who is just, there's a whole story behind Alan. But anyways, um, you know, the, the YouTube guy. Yeah. And um, Oh, we know. I didn't know that yeah. you really met him. Yeah. So, uh, he, Wonderful. He, uh, we have uh, somebody that lives near my aunt and uncle's lake house. Um, whose son uh, has a, a YouTube channel who does uh, like a lot of stuff on um, rail uh, systems in like different parts of the country. Ra like, ra like rail, like rail, make sure you, like, like like trains. Trains. Basically. And um, by the way, super successful channel. Yeah, like he's it, it's very Brilliant. like he is he is a, a really good following. Yeah, like um, he, it's his it's a living. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, anyway, so he you know he was one of the people over. So it was. Uh, him and I, and then Erica and her roommate, nice. um, and we actually made pizza, which really? I I haven't really done. I don't I don't but know. Do you we, at home? No, but like, did we do our own dough? So I've done my own dough. I don't think I involved okay. you in that process. So yeah. yeah. So yeah. By the way, so, what, pause the story. I'm just gonna add some salt to it because yep. it's it's getting there. We're gonna start this soon. Go ahead. So Keep yeah, going. we uh um we did uh, homemade pizzas, and so Erica so had this. Did you make? So we, we we actually went to Trader Joe's beforehand. So I find I, I'm sorry I went to the Trader Joe's without you. That's okay. <laughs> um, One of these days he'll take me to Trader yeah. Joe's. Or it, whatever, it I'll pretty, take him. I'll pick him up. And it was get, pretty cool. We'll get there. Um, and they have parking. Um, and so you just validate like your yeah. parking thing at checkout. But anyways, um, so um, you know, uh, our, Erica is is vegan, so she uses vegan ingredients, but you know, I also, while well, I was at Trader Joe's, picked up some ingredients that were non-vegan for my pizza. Um, so, you know, we got like a pizza sauce. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I got, you know, low moisture mozzarella, and um, and then I got pancetta, which is why it, it was interesting. Yep. Uh, for my, uh, the, the chunks were not nearly as big as the pancetta you got. Um, but yeah, I was super excited about the chunks actually. Yeah, that and actually it was it was nice because the the chunks were smaller for the pizza, so it, like I felt like it was better. Yeah, um, nice. But um, but yeah, so I did on my we I, we did two pizzas. Uh, well, we did three pizzas. By the way, speaking of pancetta, I so if based on let me just pause it. So okay. so there's a recipe recipe below. So I'm kind of making like one and a half of the recipe below because of what the amount of pasta we have. And I'm just guessing for the amount of the sauce. So I've got two things of pancetta since I don't have the guanciale. Um, and it is, I'm going to turn it down to the because I don't want it too, too hot. And so it's about nine ounces. Go ahead. So yeah, um, so we, we actually did three pieces. So Erica did hers uh, with like the vegan cheese. Mm -hmm. And she put like, you know, a bunch of different toppings like, you know, mushrooms and nice. basil and uh, some other things. Mm -hmm. uh, and and then on my my first one, I did um, uh, the, the, the red sauce, mozzarella, pancetta, and then some oregano. Um, and then we did another larger pizza that her roommate and I split. Uh, that was the red sauce, and then basil, uh, and then mozzarella. And it was it was really good. Like that I sounds awesome. I think I would. Did they have a pizza stone? Uh, no, but uh, they did. They you know we actually had like. She had like a pop, a proper like pizza tray okay. that was like circular, so you could, you know, wasn't as awkward as like a normal right uh, nice. pizza tray or, or normal like oven tray. Yeah. So a little more intuitive, but that's um, awesome. Yeah, it, it was great. So by the way, so um, I put the pancetta in a. I kind of have it right now, like at probably about medium heat, and. One of the things they talked about when I was looking um, for getting a really good classic Italian recipe for carbonara is, of course, conchile is what's what is preferred, and it's a richer cut. Um, and it's funny because when you look at pancetta, like you see a lot of fat, and you think, "Ooh, it's richer than that," but it is. And since it is richer, they recommend adding some olive oil when you um, render the fat from your pancetta. So I did add some olive oil. You saw me uh, drizzle some. So I'm just. I, you know, I don't, so here's the deal. I don't want to cook the pancetta too fast that it doesn't give the, the, um, the fat a chance to render. So you just kind of kind of play with your stove that it's rendering it, but it's not burning it. Like we don't want to sit there and sear the meat. We just want it to melt and we want the meat to become 
Now, this is the other thing. So you get to decide how you like the meaty parts of the pancetta. Do you want it to be crispy or do you want it to be chewy or do you want it to be somewhere in between? So that will determine when you stop the cooking on the pancetta and you're ready and waiting for the sauce, I mean, for you know, the pasta to cook and put in the sauce. So where, how would you like your pancetta? Since you're here and you're a special guest. Well. Would you like it chewy, crispy, I or would, in between? If you could achieve somewhere in between, I think that would be great. Okay, we'll uh, do that. I like a little bit of both. Yeah. And it just creates great texture, but you're right. So I'm wondering, the pancetta you have, was that a more fine dice? Oh, much more yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. And I've seen pancetta that way. Luckily, both places, because I got it two different places, the pancetta, and it was a much nicer, as you see here, it's a must, much nicer kind of chunk, which the reason that's good is it's going to give you more chew when we're eating, yep. and it just gives you more texture. So we're just going to let that go. Oh, and then while this is going, we're going to get our egg. So they call it the egg cream. Um, or no, they call it actually the pecorino cream. But there's no cream. It's just the eggs and the pecorino. Yep. So I'm going to have you um, get out two white bowls. Please. Okay. Bring them over. We're going to make two separate ones for one for on the stream and one for after the stream. And it said um, to use four medium eggs but again we are kind of like 50 percent making that recipe 50 percent more and so we're cutting in half so not to be so we're doing three large. eggs in each yeah. yeah no medium eggs oh these are medium eggs. so oh. well these are actually large eggs i took the smaller of them so they more like medium. gotcha eggs. okay yeah so they say medium i don't know if it makes a tremendous difference so i just took the smaller ones that were in my largest so you're going to crack those into there yep. Probably those. Mm -hmm. The whole egg, not just, now, because I have seen carbonara where someone puts like a yolk on top. This is not that one. This is a classic. Oh God, this is one of those eggs I was talking about. Classic over. from Rome or the Lazio area, carbonara. I have my three eggs. And then to that, we're adding on each of these a three quarter cup of pecorino. And this is looking great. Coming all the way, so we'll turn it down just a little bit. I'm gonna get my little. Do I have my little quarter cup anywhere? Maybe it's away. Quarter cup. I think it's over there. Quarter cup's right here. Yeah, but it's wet, so we're just gonna use a little under this one, a little under a third cup. Oh, fine. It's fine. Okay, so, I mean, and this is this isn't baking, so it doesn't have to be yep. exact. So I'm just gonna do a little under a third cup, three times. Let me put yours in. Sure. And yeah. can you get a little a fork for each of us? And we're going to just whisk this together. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, my goodness. The pinto, yes. Yes, it smells fantastic. amazing. Thank you. I'm going to put this away. How do I get more flour on here? <laughs> Is flour Stuff everywhere. No, it's flour. It's the flour. Oh, it's okay. It's worth it. It's it's, it's what okay. happens. So so one thing that maybe is good, Maddie. Look, mm -hmm. is if you bring it down like this and just kind of go low. Yep. And kind of bring it in. So we're just folding in the cheese with the egg. You could use a whisk, but these are kind of small bowls. Um, I wanted these separated for us. And we're just going to whisk. And look how beautiful this is because these are. From a farm egg, so they have really like almost orange yolks. So the color is amazing. Check on my pancetta. Oh, that pancetta looks outstanding. It looks so good. And meanwhile, I'm still waiting for that stinking. It is a lot of water. Darn. Making sure it was on right. Yep. Just going to let this crisp up. Oh my God, this looks so good. Now, the pecorino is super, super cheesy. Of course, it's super cheesy. The pecorino is super salty. So, um, so you do not need to add any salt to this. We salted our water. We added salt to our pasta. But there's no more salt you need to add. There's the pancetta is salty. Um, this is fully seasoned besides any of the seasoning if you're adding any of the pasta water. Yep. Nice. Okay. 
We're good. I see. So this is the pecorino cream. All right. And now, because we have time and we're waiting for our, let's take a look, see what you think. Oh, so, so, so good. Do you want it crisper than that? Um. Uh, maybe a, just a little bit. Okay, um, I'm gonna go a little longer. That's ready to go, so I'm just gonna turn that Oh yeah, it's finally boiling. So, now the other thing, the other magic ingredient we wanna add is our pepper. So I'm going to add, um, it doesn't say how much. We like a, we like some aggressive peppering. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna add, not quite all that. That's, come on, can you come over here? I think that's a nice amount of pepper. Yep. For the sugar serving. And I might wanna add a little bit more to that one. A little bit more. Perfect. Okay, so. Let's stir this in. Yeah, stir that in. So that's all set to go. And I'm going to actually get one of those, um, what do you call it? Uh, spatula so we get every last goodness when we add this later. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to ready to add the pasta because by the time. This is set. So now we need to remove some of this mat because some of this is going to be waiting for our next round. Because I put yeah. all of this in, friends. So some of this is going to be waiting. What do you want waiting. to put it on? I'm going to put it, I think, because I want it to be in something that can handle the heat. Yep. I'm going to get in this. All right. Oh, if you could help me because the dog is kind of out. Come on. So I'm just going to take half of this out for a second Bad. batch. Bad. Because the one thing I will say, if you're making it for a lot of people, you do not want to make too much at one time. I just think that's where kind of things go awry. This pancetta looks amazing. And I do want to get some of this yep, oil because this say, oil is what's end. going to be our sauce. So much is left. There's already, there's a good bit in there. I don't yeah. know if you want yeah, to I steal any more. I agree. I'm with you. All right, so now this is ready to go. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit until our, our pasta is going to cook super fast. In fact, I'm just going to turn it off because I don't want them to overdo it. I'm going to put our pasta in and actually, if you want to help me. Yeah. Oh, wait, actually, I think I'll be able to get just so any that are down below. We're just putting the spaghetti in, which is going to cook so fast. And see down below there's some. Yep. So we're just gonna add these to our pot. There you go. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna have this. And I'll be putting it right from our pasta pot into our um, our pan here, which is one of the things that's nice. And this is gonna cook so fast. Just give that like literally maybe another minute. Yep. I see someone came scrounging. Someone smells some good food, hmm. right? So the big key to this is once we put the pasta into the pancetta and we just um, coat that a little bit, then we're gonna turn the heat off, which I know it's already off, so actually I'm gonna get that turned back on. Because then we're going to turn the heat off, and that's when we add our egg cream. Come on. Oh, I hate this thing. Watch out, Max. It's going to also go. Okay, so we're not going to do that. We're going to use the other one here. Because that one's being a bit of a in the tush. I'm going to bring my pasta right over. Matt, this is important stuff. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on over. Can you get the spider, that wire thing, and make sure we got all of our pasta out? So I just kind of just scoop it up. And grab it and bring it right over. Yep. Let's see if there's any more. You got it all? Good job. Well done. Okay. So we have now, um, you can just go put it right over there by the airport. Yep. So we have now gotten this, and I know you can't see it very well because our silly, but you'll be able to see it in a minute because I'm going to bring it right over there. Um, 
So I'm just going to saute, get this all covered with its, the oils, which is going to be yummy. So we get that all covered. And then we are going to bring it over, take it off the heat, and we need our cream. And we are just going to toss. Can you take that way? Uh, don't you want to use a um, It's too much sauce. We got okay. plenty of sauce. And you can see that it's thickening up right now. Oh, oh. That did it drip? So oh, it's okay. thickening up. And so the egg cooks just the right amount. You don't want scrambled eggs. That's why you must take it off the heat. You have to make sure the heat is off. If it feels too thick, you can add some pasta water to it. I'm going to turn that one off. So we have to have this the silky sauce, which is what I'm seeing here. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, but it's a silky sauce that is perfectly cooked. It looks so creamy and delicious. I might add just a tad of, of um, the pasta water because this is going thick. to... Is it thick? Well, it's going to also um, thicken as soon as I get on the cold plate. So you're going to need to move and move your chair right away. And then I'm going to bring it over to you and Dad. You want to grab the fork, sweetie? Yep. And go over by in front of that, and I'll get plated. It's a lot of dishes. Dad's not going to have any because when he says things like that, he doesn't get any food. <laughs> right? Isn't that how it goes? Oh wow, that's a big fork. Whose is that? We're, honey, I'm not quite done playing okay. yet because I've got to get the other stuff on. Watch out for your hand. Thank you. Thank you, DS. Okay, so I'm just trying to get some of it out. I'm going to get now some of this lovely pancetta mm. out to put on top. Oh man, <laughs> that looks so good. Wow. And Matt, will you sprinkle some pepper, fresh pepper on that please? Mm -hmm. That looks good. Watch out. And then I want to get the your photo. Oh, Dad, get the, get the, um, no, go to it later. Dad, get the, uh, um, the salad out, please. Salad. Top shelf. Get a little treat for Shelby there. So I'm just sprinkling a little bit of, of uh, pepperino on. So I'm going to use this to show. Let me turn um, this off. I have the salad. Okay. Can you put it here? Let's see. Here we go. Let me show. Okay. Can you see? Yeah. So there we go. So we've got the pancetta cubes up there. Oh, I'm going to get this so out of the way. Crazy. And for our salad, do you know where we get our dressing? Daddy, did you get yours? I it was right over there. I just was trying to say. So let me get this. And Matt, can, before you eat, can you please get the cheese and put it on top of the salad? I'm going to dress the salad real quick. Okay, and we'll just toss it. You can dump, dump the cheese. All of it? Just dump. Yep. No, I'm sure. There we go. Perfect. So we got the tricolor salad. We have more dressing if we need it. You guys can go ahead and taste since. I forgot oh, to get no, this we're, we're waiting for you. Oh, okay. I feel bad. I forgot to do this before we added the pasta. But look how gorgeous that salad is. To me, this salad is a great counterpoint to the rich pasta because it has that vinegar bite and it has the spiciness of um, the lettuces that are in here, the radicchio, the endive, endive and the arugula. Okay. So let's taste. Oh, man. This looks fantastic. Let's see. Mm. Oh my god. Well, it's so rich. <laughs> oh my god. But in the best way. And it's silky. And the pancetta is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. 
Wow. That is great. That's just stupid. I think the pancetta is the perfect consistency map. Yeah. You know I mean? It's crispy, but not not shatteringly so. It just has like a nice crisp edges, but it has good bite. I'm telling you. Wow. So I know that you can also, the delis that we're by. That's unbelievable. That are near us close. They already have it chopped, but you can always go to your deli and ask for it to be. Look, even though it's just been a couple minutes, but it starts to kind of hold together. Um, but definitely, if you're chopping it, chop it on the thicker side. Mm. Yeah, good point. It's so good having that texture. And then Chad is amazing. And I'm sure I, someday we will find guanciale. I know it's somewhere in the city. It's just one of the specialty markets. Um, so, but I just think pancetta is probably easier. And frankly, another version is bacon. You could use bacon. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not the original Italian version, but it definitely would be American version. Mm -hmm. And then one of the versions we do Oh my God, that was so good. That is so good. So much labor, but so worth it. Um, one of the versions we do doesn't have to do with with bacon or um, pancetta. the pancetta or any of those. It's the sausage. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I've seen on a show, I think it was Sunny on the Kitchen, that made a quick week, weeknight one where she sauteed up a small amount of sausage. So this is where, because I know we're in hard times now, I know some of this stuff is expensive, but sausage is often, an Italian sausage is often not as expensive, and you only need to use like one or two links, depending upon how many you're feeding, to, to flavor the oil and maybe add a little oil to it. And then you salt, you do the same method. You add your pasta to that, let it coach, and then mm, you, oh, she did, she did, by the way, Maddie, the authentic method. She added the eggs to the pecorino and then and the pepper and then added it like we did to the pan. So um, so there's so many different ways you can do it. And then because here we always are trying to, you know, eat healthy, we usually did chicken sausage because we just were trying to make, and that was a, that was a great week meal. You know, we could have a weekly meal that we didn't feel horrible about um, and it was super yummy. So mm. let's try the salad. So we'll say yes. the pasta is great. I mean, there's nothing like fresh pasta. Yes. Like, and I, and like 10 this? minutes ago, when you guys weren't looking, I grabbed a piece of the pasta off of there. And <laughs> <I ate it>. <laughs> <laughs> Raw? <laughs> well, how'd that go for you? It was actually really good. <laughs> mm. I was hungry. Oh, it was so good. I feel like I need a glass of water after that. This is... Oh, it's just so rich. So this is a great peppery... Vinegary bite. Matt, you want, to some, that. you want some salad, right? Oh, you know, I'll leave that oh for God. you guys. That's all you. This would be great with the spaghetti meatballs I make. Yeah. Or I mean, this, this is good. Meatballs. Mm. This is really good. That's birthday dinner, brother. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Thank you, GS. Thank you so much for uh -oh. Uh -oh. for watching. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> I appreciate all that. your support very, very much. This was delicious. Oh my gosh. And thank you, Matt. Thank you for coming over to do this. Yeah, no problem. Are you, gonna try, are you gonna try the salad or no? I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much again coming up this week. Oh, and please like and subscribe. Um, and I have, oh my gosh, I have a community tab. I forgot to tell you that. Oh, that's awesome. I got, I don't know no. why, but I, I didn't have 500, but I, they all of a sudden said, look, we have something new for you. And so on my community tab, I have a vote for what you want my next wings to be, air fryer wings next month. So I have a choice of three, garlic parm, um, sticky the thai. The correct choice. <laughs> sticky thai or um, hot and honey. So you choose which of those three you'd like me to make next month and I will take the winner and that'll be what goes on the schedule. So I'm so excited and I'll put other things on the community tab, but thank you. Excuse me. Thank you for joining us. I hope you tried this. Let me know what kind, if you have great pasta recipes for your homemade pasta um, or great car carbonara variations. Um, I read every um, comment that goes below and have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And go Phillies on the next stretch and go Eagles tonight until we eat again. Thank you so much.